Hey guys, it is Nitro1 here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald. Last time we were joined by Pookie Pro HQ as we explored Rustboro City and battled the trainers in the gym. And this time we're going to start by taking on the gym leader Roxanne, along with a new special guest and friend. Hello, I am Jack, and I'm really cool. That's a good <laughs> intro. I'm yep, that's right. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, before we take on uh, Roxanne, I'll just show Jack uh, the team. So yeah, oh, this yeah. is the team. Uh, we got uh, Mirror B, the uh, Lombre. Which is level 15. Cool. And we have Rocky the Torchic, which is also level 15. Uh, we have Twitter the Taylor, which is level 12. And uh, Tangent the Zigzagoon, which is an HM slave, of course. <laughs> and uh, Snake at the uh, Cascoon. Now, uh, this was actually a, 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 a Wurmple in the last episode, but uh, while oh. I was doing a bit of grinding, I decided to uh, evolve it because I was a bit curious of uh, what it was going to evolve into Silcon or Cascoon. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I hate the. F like, it's 50 50 chance, isn't it? I think so. Uh, well, I used to always stress me out because you can't tell when it's evolving which one it's going to be. And I used to always want you to play. And yeah, like, I, I always get Cascoon. I pretty salty. Yeah, I always get Cascoon, never Silcoon. <laughs> it does seem like there's a higher chance of Cascoon because everyone wants Silcoon. But that could be wrong. Somebody I think so, it. yeah. I think the chance is slightly higher for uh, Cascoon. But yeah. I don't know. It, it, it kind of is. Uh, it really is at random anyway. Now. <laughs> yeah, we'll look it up uh, after we finish recording. <laughs> anyway. I'm right now, Matt. What? I'm looking it up right now. Oh, okay then. Right, I'll, uh, yeah, just uh, start. I'll take on the gym leader now. Hey, you, take, you take on the gym, don't <laughs> Okay, so, hello, I'm Roxanne, the Rust Bro Pokemon gym leader. I became a gym leader so that I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? Gladly. Gladly, indeed. Okay, so, okay. Roxanne. Yeah. So yeah, she starts off with uh, Geodude. Uh, she has two identical Geodude, and they both know um, Tackle, Defense, Curl, Rock Throw, and Rock Tomb. Yes. Don't worry, you've got this, Matt. No <laughs> bother. I assume we have, like, Water Gun or something. Yeah, I'm trying to find a battle item, actually, because uh, oh. I'm going to... Uh, do I have an X special somewhere? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> I was hopeful. I guess we'll just uh, go straight in with the uh, Bullet Seeds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're grand. There we go. One shot on the Geo, dude. You're sorry to mine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you don't have to worry about Roxanne. She's fine. Yeah. Now, Wormful, on the other hand. Where is he? I also apologize if I sound a bit groggy. I'm literally just up. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> I've, I've uh, just been up. Uh, I've barely been up an hour as well. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so those are Geodudes. So, cool. Nosepass, uh, I'm a little bit more concerned about. But yeah, I think I should be fine, really. I think you should be fine. Yeah. For Rock type, you've got Follow Seed to ground. Yeah. <laughs> so, I yeah, Nosepass has like... uh, Block Hard and Tackle and Rock Tomb. Yes. So, yeah. Actually, fun fact I used to think, you know, just, you see the way his foot's up? Yeah. I used to think that was his mouth. Oh, really? And that the uh, other foot was his neck, and that his arm was his ear. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I used to see his face. Oh, wow. And I can still see it today, so... Yeah. I mean, there you go. And then I saw that he had two feet, and it used to confuse me. I used to think he was a really fucking weird Pokemon. I thought he was based on, you know, those heads on uh, that island. Easter Island. Easter Island. I think, they, I think it is based off uh, the Easter go. Island statues. Yeah. It looks like them both ways, anyway. Yeah. It's pretty funny. Yeah, and on that Wurmple case, it is 50-50. Oh, wow, okay. Which I don't believe. For one second. Yeah, it's crazy. Bay, we beat uh, Roxanne, looks like. There we go. Oh, that was, uh, that Crit. was hard. There you go. I think uh, Roxanne is definitely one of the easier... Uh, one of the easier, easier bosses in the game. Yeah, probably one of the easier first gyms. I never really remember it being any sort of a challenge. Yeah, especially in yeah. Ruby and Sapphire, because she only has one Geo dude. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because I know in uh, in Gold and Silver, the first gym leader. I actually can't think right now. What do you remember his name? What Faulkner? Faulkner. There yeah. it is. Uh, he he always proved costly for me because I like starting with the grass Pokemon. Okay. And I didn't expect them. Didn't yeah. Them coming. So yeah, we get Rock Tomb. And uh, I might actually teach it to uh, Torchic when it evolves. I don't know if uh, Torchic can learn Rock Tomb uh, right. already. Uh, 
No, probably not. Try it anyway. Yeah, let's check. So, uh, let's see if I can find the TMs and HMs. There it is. Uh, all right, there we go. <laughs> oh, yep, okay. it is able to learn Rock Tomb. Awesome. Good. I might teach it a bit later, actually. Yeah. <laughs> not teach it well, now. The next gym is fighting. So yeah, fighting, yeah. I'll anything, probably use but... Taylo for that. Yeah. Yeah. So, whoa, what a breathtaking victory. My cheering must have worked. Great, check your chain trainer card. The stone badge you, sh you got should be properly recorded on it. In other words, you've climbed the first step on the stairs to the championship. That's gotta yeah. feel awesome. <laughs> Let's go, Matt. Okay. Well, um, for Wat Watson, you be grand because you've got you've got combuskin. I assume you'll still have a combuskin then. You'll have fire for his magneton. You'll have rock tomb for his magnetron. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, if you uh, didn't see that, uh, the guy from uh, Devon was uh, got chased by that Team Aqua Grunt. Oh, yeah. Or rather, no, the other way around. The uh, Team Aqua Grunt was running away from uh, <laughs> the uh, the guy from Devon. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, chase after him, I guess. Oh, yeah. I know what's happening now. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's you. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Pedalberg Woods. Help me. I was robbed by Team Aqua. I have to get the Devon goods back. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. <laughs> Okay, I literally so. always forget about that this part happens. I'm always like, all right, on to the second gym. And then this happens, and I'm like, okay, not on to the second gym. <laughs> okay, we got enough repels. We got more than enough repels. Ah, you're sort of not. Okay, so I have battled some of these trainers. I battled uh, the, the first two in the last episode, and I battled this trainer right here uh, while I was doing some grinding. So, yeah. Oh, we have a double battle here. I guess Ooh. we'll, uh... Oh. Oh, no. You've got two singles, Matt. Oh, no, you have a chance for another double well. Yeah, with the other hiker. Yeah. So, yeah, while this battle's going on, I actually have some uh, Pokemon trivia-related questions to ask you. Me? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> ah, my brain's not on at the moment, but sure, go on. <laughs> no, there's nothing to worry about. So, yeah, I'll be asking you, um, yeah, three questions. Uh, the first one will be pretty easy. Uh, the second yeah. question will be a little bit more tricky. And the third one will be fiendishly difficult. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> okay, so, uh, first question, uh, fairly easy. In Pokemon Black and White, uh, what is Getsis's ace Pokemon? Um, his ace Pokemon. Whew. Is it... No, you see, I'm trying to remember now. I haven't played those games in so long. Oh. <laughs> like, I genuinely haven't, probably haven't played them since they came out. All oh, right. Uh... Oh, the trainer spotted me as soon as he, as soon as I stopped <laughs> talking to him. <laughs> okay, it looks like we got three singles. N has Zakram or Reshiram. Yeah. Is it um, is it a Zoroark? Is that his main? No, that's that's N. Uh, yeah, well, that's N's. Yeah. I want to think of N. Getsis is the one with the creepy music. Yeah. <laughs> um. You got it? that right at least. <laughs> yeah. No, because I. Jesus Christ! I can't even remember what Pokemon he has. Uh, it's a Hydreigon? Yes, it is. Well ah, done. There we go. <laughs> Whoa, that took a while. That took a bit of digging. Yeah. Okay, so we'll move on to the tricky questions. So, uh, yeah. Uh, your question is, uh, what is the fastest non-legendary Pokemon? Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> um, fastest non-legendary Pokemon. Yeah, let's try to think of this logically now. What Pokemon are fast? Oh, actually, I think my friend told me this recently as well. The fastest non-legendary Pokemon. Actually, out of curiosity, what's the fastest legendary Pokemon? Uh, Deoxys Speed, if we're counting, like, oh, different yeah, forms. Like, that makes sense. I shouldn't have needed to think about that. Oh, jeez. Um. Oh. Actually, I can't think. I can't even think of fast, like one fast Pokemon in my mind right now. Oh. Um. I'm not for that question. I have no idea. Okay, it's uh, Ninjask. Oh, okay. I actually wouldn't have got that. Yeah. That's, like, that's pretty hard. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, uh, Lance. Uh, Lance countdowns. He didn't get his tricky question right either. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Let's see if you can get the uh, fiendish question right then. Well, if it's anything to do with competitive aspects, I'm getting nowhere. 
Uh, no, it isn't really. It's, um, okay. well, this question, either you know it or you don't. It's funny, because, uh, PokePro and I were actually talking about this in the last episode. I didn't intend on, uh, talking about it, but we ended up talking about it. Okay. Um, let's hear, let's hear it. Yeah, the question is, uh, which day, month, and year was Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire released in North America? Um, okay, I was a child. Oh, it was 2002, if I remember correctly. Uh, 2003, actually. 2003? Alright. Oh, I, I should have uh, given you more time. No, I was I was four, Matt. I wasn't really conscious at this time, but I'll guess. I'll give it a guess. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna go with March. Oh? Yep. That All was right. right. Yep. That's, that was the month. Can you, yeah. can you, do you, know, do you know the day, though? Can you guess the oh, day? Oh, you asked me the day at all. Jesus. Um, <laughs> uh... 22nd. Oh, that is so close. It's actually March 19th. Oh, my... uh, you know what? I'll go guess. <laughs> yeah. No, March, I did think I know. I knew March somewhere deep down. As I said, my brain's not switched on right now. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so, uh, um, actually, I might actually battle some of these trainers off screen, because what, what I want to try and do in this episode, I want to try and, um, uh, well, first of all, uh, yeah, uh, chase down that Aqua Grunt, and uh, there was something else that I wanted to do uh, for this episode, but yeah, all the trainers will just be optional, I guess. Oh, there's an X special, you could use that in the gym, man. Yeah. So, I don't know if there are any hidden items over here. There might be one on this rock, okay. actually. Nope, there isn't. <laughs> I always check for hidden items. Yes, because they're always better than regular items. Well, not subjective, actually. Sometimes they're pretty bad. <laughs> okay, here's the guy with the uh, Pico. Oh, I love him, Mr. Briny. Yeah, Briny, yeah. yeah Rawr, Pico! Okay, so... Yeah, Rust Turf Tunnel. So I think Actually, the only Pokemon my... you can find here are, um... Uh, Wizma, Wizma, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is this a Nuzlocke, by the way? Uh, no, this is just sure. a regular Let's Play. Yeah, okay. I wasn't sure. Oh, so just in case it looks like I'm a bad friend, this is being recorded well in advance. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, she thought I just didn't pay attention to a series up until now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, what are you coming? Come get some then. <laughs> That's a uh, very uh, interesting uh, way to speak. Grr, keyhole it all. That hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless, and to think I made a getaway in this tunnel to nowhere. Hey you, so do you want to battle me? Well, I have no choice, but uh, <laughs> you know, I don't. I don't really want to battle you, but I guess I have he no choice. Gianna, doesn't he? If I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, I think it's like level eleven. Okay. I was gonna say level nine, but that was the um, the first uh, the first Puchiana. Ah yes, way in there, Paddleberg Woods. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, just out of interest, Jack, uh, do you prefer Team Aqua or Team Magma? I'm uh, I'm more of a fan of Team Aqua, to be honest. <laughs> All right, I seem to be like the only person that's a that's a fan of Team Magma over Team Aqua. I used to be. I used to prefer Team Magma. I don't know why I changed, to be honest. I used to be, I used to be a team magma person. I don't really like Groudon on that much. Yeah, yeah. I to, the re, one of the reasons I prefer Team Magma is that I like. Um, well, first of all, I like Groudon. I prefer Groudon to Kyogre yeah. personally, and also um, uh, I prefer Maxi to Archie as well. Yeah, you see, I used to prefer Maxi to Archie, but then Archie got ripped in all right, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, so yeah, I changed my mind. Oh yeah. <laughs> Those games were good. Yeah. Okay, so now that we've done that, um, yeah, I think we'll go straight back to uh, Ross Bro because uh, there was something I wanted to do. I think there's actually an optional rival battle oh, in yeah, uh, yeah, Ross Bro. Yeah. Actually, can I? Um, I can get. The, I can pick up those berries without having to battle any trainers. So I guess we'll do that. Yeah, I used to always think you have to do that rival battle. It used to stress me out. Yeah. I, I never trained other than just battling trainers, and I used to avoid trainers. You know the way when you're a kid and you used to like kind of step around trainers because you didn't want to fight them. Yeah. Was that just me? Okay, now you did that as well. Good. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, no, I don't really mind now to be honest, because I know I can beat no. them. No. Yeah, I'm the same. I'm not bothered now. <laughs> back, I used to, I used to always like save my game before I battled each trainer. And uh, if the Pokemon that the trainer had uh, was a bad matchup against the, my lead Pokemon, <laughs> I just turn my game off and uh, and uh, <laughs> rearrange my team. Man, that's cheap. Yeah, I know. 
Oh, I wish I thought of that. Yeah. Oh, I would have done that all the time. <laughs> what is it with kids and cheating? Did you have an action replay? Uh, no, I didn't know. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, I used that. My diamond is still tainted. <laughs> with all these, like, shiny Dialgas, level 99. It's pretty good. Oh. Yeah, I think one of my friends, um, he, uh, someone gave him an action replay for free. <laughs> and, uh, oh, really? Yeah, he, uh, he used it on his diamond game, and he just, like, yeah. he, he, he played the whole, through the whole game with fire-type Pokemon. Really? Yeah. I mean, you can, because you can just get them all to level 100, and you'll just win everything. Yeah. Um, I remember I, you know, the walkthrough Wall Street. Yeah. I did that to, uh, <laughs> I used that to walk from Can Canalave City. Right. All the way up to the Darkrai event. All oh, right. You could just walk through eternal void of darkness because the island's on the map. Yeah. So I figured, well, I mean, you mustn't need to download something if the island's on the map. And I just walked to it and it was there. And I was like, cool. <laughs> and then coming back, the event triggered because I caught them or battled them and that triggers the other half of the event. And it was, it was weird. There's no <laughs> other way it's a nightmare or whatever. Yeah. That was, that was the best Pokemon event. They haven't done <laughs> anything similar to that since. That's cool. The, um... Yeah, they haven't actually done. They only don't just kind of give Pokemon out now. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Well, I mean, there was uh, Victini in black and white. Yeah, that's, but then... that's the last time they've done anything like that. Yeah, but then, like, a few months later, they gave out, like, a level 50 Victini with, like, Fusion Flare and Fusion Bolt. Yeah, like, it was much better. Anyway, yeah. I don't think I even uh, battled the level 15 Victini in uh, Castilia City. I had the, uh, like, card and everything to that you yeah. could go get it, but I never actually battled it. I, li I liked it because you could get in a boat and go somewhere else. I always like things like that. I think... I know it's not much, but I think it just shows that the game developers care a bit more. Yeah. It just seems to me like they're just not bothered now. Because even yeah. like they were like, oh, 20 years, here's a Mew. Yeah. Take it. Yeah, I there was also uh, the Jirachi event just started a few days ago, actually. Oh, really? Do you have to be somewhere to get that, or can everyone? Uh, it's only um only uh Mew. You have to like go to like Game or okay. GameStop that or whatever. That bothered me because it was only Game and Game left Ireland a couple of years ago because GameStop oh, right. basically ran them out. Yeah, I think uh, Game is only really uh. It's in, only uh, okay now. Yeah, Actually, I think it's not in Spain. All right. Yeah, well, that was a good few years ago now, so it's probably gone from there as well. Yeah. Game were good. GameStop are overpriced. But that's not a topic for a Pokemon video. Yeah. Oh, good old Mr. Stone. Yep. So. I used to think he. Is he related to Steve? I think he's. I don't know if he's his dad. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm just wondering. Yeah. I you, know think that, I... you know that family just above. Um, not. Uh... Win straight. Yeah, the Winstreet family. Yeah, I think that's Wallace. Wallace's family. Oh, Wallace's family. I used to think that was Stephen's family. Yeah. Okay, so I think we're nearly up to the point where we can battle uh, We can battle our rival again. Cool. We're having all the exciting battles in this episode, Matt. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can find it. There she is. There she is. I see you. Oh, hi, Matt. You had a match call feature put on your Poker Nav. Let's register each other so we can contact one another anytime. I like the little jingle when you uh, when yeah. someone adds you in the Poker Nav. <laughs> cool. So yeah, how about a little bell? So yeah, this is optional. You can say no, but yeah, I'm just gonna say yes for the experience. <laughs> We're just gonna have a marsh stomp though. I'm pretty sure this is the first time you fight her starter evolved. Uh, I think she still has a mudkip. Already? Yeah. She's a Torco. Yeah, I don't know where she got that Torco from. Does but she yeah. Have a torco? What? Sorry? Has she always had a Torco? Um... Or is it only if you start with Torchic? It's only if you start with Torchic. I think if you if you start with Trico, she'll have a Lotad. If uh, you start with uh, Mudkip, she'll have a Wingle, I think. Yes, I used to only start with Trico and Mudkip, so that makes sense. Yeah. Because I'm a, I'm a Grass-type starter man. Yeah, but I mean, I, 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 I was never... A, a, I was never a big fan of the Grass-type initially. Yeah. But, you know, since, um... Well, actually, no, well, I picked Trico as my starter in uh, Emerald just because I, I was a big fan of the anime because Ash had a Trico in the anime. Yeah. 
But yeah, um, since then I've not really been... Well, since then my sort of preference for grass type sort of dropped until... Uh, until, uh, well, Black and White 2 when I used um, uh, Lee Vanny on my team. Oh, right. Oh, for grass types in general? Yeah, for grass types in general. Like, I used uh... to just use, like, Pokemon with grass type moves, like, in Platinum. I had an Espeon with uh, grass knot. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. See, so, yeah, here's a Mudkip. I think, uh, like, the starter's level 15. Yeah, oh, like, it's just about to evolve. Yeah. <laughs> Although by now I think your starter should be evolved. Yeah, no, it would be normally. Yeah, especially if you picked uh, Trico and uh, Mudkip, you know, you would have roasted all the trainers in the gym with them. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, may slack him. Yeah. Please don't use Bide. <sighs> okay, right. I'm gonna, get, right. Because he has to wait two turns. Well. Oh, yeah. And it moves last in uh, Gen 3, I think. It, it was only until well, Gen 4 when matter. they started moving first, didn't they? Uh, I can't remember, to oh. be honest. So yeah, Mirror B and uh, Rocky are both level 17. I only noticed Bide, really, in Gen 4, so... Because Cricketot had it at the yeah. start. I never really noticed it in Gen 3. Because I, I, mainly in Gen 3, I played Leaf Green and Fire Red over... Um, Hoenn games. I don't know. Nah, yeah, I was more of a uh, Hoenn fan than a Kanto fan, fan, to be honest. Yeah. yeah, so um, I think there are actually a few items we can get now that we've got cut. So yeah, uh, we'll yeah get this item. And uh, we'll be about ready to uh, conclude uh, the episode. Alright, that's fair. Okay, so we'll just head back through Pedalburg Woods and uh, make it to sure. Mr. Briny's house, and then we'll conclude the episode. All right. So yeah, thanks, Jack, for coming on. It's been uh, oh, been a pleasure. No problem, Matt. I've enjoyed being here. <laughs> Jolly as ever. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Is there an item in here? Or something? There has to be. Oh, well, there's. Oh, the trainer. No. Ah. There we go. Miracle seed. Miracle seed. You can give that to your uh, your low tad. Yeah. Or not your low tad. Your lombre. Lombre. Yeah. Okay, so any other items? There we go. There's oh, an there's, item right here. There's one. I bet there's a hidden item as well, Matt. If you look everywhere. Yeah. Now, um, yeah, you guys don't know this, but I actually, um, while I was grinding, I uh, used pickup and uh, I got an ultra ball from uh, my Zigzagoon. Oh wow, really? Yeah. That's cool. In fact, that's really rare, actually. Yeah. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, is it in Pokeballs? Yeah. There we go. There's the ultra ball. Oh cool. <laughs> Just in case it's such a hack in an ultra ball. Yeah, just in case uh, people don't believe me. <laughs> okay. So yeah, uh, I guess we'll conclude the episode. <laughs> How fitting yeah. that the rappel wore off as soon as we exited the uh, the forest. Andy. Oh, there's an item then. There's a pokeball here, isn't there? Oh no. No. I yeah, think... yeah. There, there is a pokeball. You get down there. And I then... must. I think I must have picked it up already. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah. Why don't we uh, conclude the episode off there? today guys so yeah thanks again jack for coming on it's been a pleasure no problem <laughs> so yeah uh, that is pretty much the end of today's episode guys hope you guys enjoyed it and next time we're going to be uh, talking to mr briny and uh, heading over to uh duford uh, duford uh, duford town duford city i don't know duford town i think it is yeah anyway uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye